tiger barbs are very intense little fish. They're fast, they're furious, and they're full of energy. They're not shy, and they'll come right to the front of the tank to greet you when you enter the room. But don't get too excited. They're only looking for food. Yes, tiger barbs love to eat, and their frantic feeding behavior is fun to watch. Unfortunately, these adorable little fish have a nasty habit of continuously pestering other fish, especially the weak, the slow, the sick, and anything with long fins. So tiger barbs are not a good choice for the typical community tank, and I prefer to keep mine in a single species setup such as the one seen here. Tiger barbs have a bad reputation for nipping at other fish, but these fin-nipping terrors of the community tank have no teeth. That's right, not a single tooth in either jaw. So they chew their food using special teeth located in the throat, and these are known as pharyngeal teeth. And speaking of teeth, watching tiger barbs eat is one of the best parts about keeping a group of these fish. And since tiger barbs can be so aggressive when they're feeding, I thought that it might be interesting to tease them a little by placing a glass bottle containing live black worms inside the tank. This would allow the tiger barbs to see and smell the worms, but still not be able to reach them. I wondered how they would react to this forbidden treat. I was hoping that it would drive them crazy. So that led me to design my very own tiger barb torture device. This device consists of a ceramic tile that serves as the base, to which I've attached a bit of wire to hold the glass bottle up high in the water column where the fish can have a good look at the worms inside. The plan is to put live black worms inside the glass jar and then place the whole thing inside my tiger barb tank to see how they'll react to this forbidden treat. The black worms are fully aquatic, so any worms that escape from the bottle might survive in the substrate of the aquarium, and in the right conditions, the worms might even begin to reproduce in small numbers. However, given the fact that this tank belongs to a group of hungry tiger barbs, the only way that these worms are going to survive is if they stay inside that bottle. I put my tiger barb torture device into the tank and waited patiently for the action to begin, but the tiger barbs were very afraid of it, so they hid at the back of the aquarium. And after about half an hour of waiting, I decided to chum the water by dropping several live black worms into the tank right near the bottle to see if I could coax the tiger barbs into coming out of hiding. And just as I expected, the hungry fish have come forward to investigate, and one by one each of them approaches the bottle and tries to get at the worms inside. While the barbs are focused on the bottle of worms, it gives us the opportunity to look at them in more detail. This is a female tiger barb. Female tiger barbs have a more rounded abdomen than the males. They also have slightly less color overall, but the lack of color is especially noticeable in the area around the female's mouth. The less orange you see around the mouth and the bigger the abdomen, the more likely that fish is to be a female. Female tiger barbs scatter their eggs in aquatic vegetation. The tiny eggs sink and then stick to the plants where they mature and hatch without any help from the parents. In fact, the adult tiger barbs will happily eat any eggs that they can find. Tiger barbs of both sexes have a very big appetite, and I'm sure they're just dying to get at those worms.
Be sure to notice the tiny barbels on this tiger barb. There's one at each corner of the mouth. By the way, barba is the Latin word for beard, and that's where we get the word barber and the word barbel, and it's also why there's a group of fish called barbs. However, not all barbs have beards, and none of them need to see a barber. Finally, be sure to notice the difference in coloration between these two fish. I love these little fish, but they're not for everyone. Their constant activity, their endless appetite, and their boundless curiosity can wear down the more peaceful residents of a community tank. So it's often recommended that tiger barbs be kept in groups of six or more so that the barbs spend most of their time picking at each other rather than the other fish in the tank. However, this little trick won't always work, and your tiger barbs are still likely to single out any fish that are slow, weak, or sick. They also have a habit of nipping at fish with long fins, so guppies, bettas, angelfish, gouramis, and goldfish are likely targets. In fact, any slow-moving fish is a likely target for these toothless tigers, and I would only pair my tiger barbs with tank mates that are equally as tough and just as bold. I would consider putting them in a large tank with a single convict cichlid or a single firemouth cichlid. However, at the moment, these tiger barbs live alone in a single species tank, so there's no one for them to torment except each other. But sometimes late at night, I wonder who's tormenting who around here. And that's it for this video. Share the love, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.